International Day at Light Show 2014 here at Stony Park. It's Europe's biggest show where all the manufacturers bring their wares to show for the 2015 season. I'm Sophie McGinn and let us take a walk around the show. Joining me now is Dave Thorpe. Dave, give me a bit of info on why it's so important for Honda to be here at the show. Well, I think over the years, Honda have probably not supported the dirt bike show as much as they maybe have other shows. And um, as you can see this year, they're back with a bang. So we're just going to have a quick word with Fart Like A Girl herself, Emily Davey. Emily, tell me a bit more about the show and what you're doing here this weekend. Um, well, hopefully, um we might uh, promote a little bit of breast cancer awareness, which is obviously ultimately what I do. And uh, I do that through off-road motorcycling. So I take part in uh, a lot of extreme races and uh, we've raised hopefully a lot of money for uh, Cancer Research UK. And, uh, you know, hopefully we've, we've just continued the good work. So joining me now is Carl from Yamaha. Carl, tell me what Yamaha is bringing to the Dirt Bike Show this year. We are bringing our four-stroke lineup along with our refreshed two-stroke lineup uh, and a, a handful of road bikes, uh, a lot of race bikes, and uh, hopefully lots of things for people to see and, uh, and have a look at it. So joining me now is Dave Edwards from Husqvarna. Dave, tell me about the developments you're making with the brand over the uh, weekend. Yeah, well, the development with the brand, we've had quite an interesting year, really. Um, Twelve months ago, the brand was just purchased by pretty much the KTM group. And there wasn't a show stand here, there wasn't a Husqvarna bike here. So we're 12 months on, we've got our own stand, we've got 11 bikes here today. We've got a new bike that we've just launched, first time in the UK. Um, so it's been a pretty, pretty exciting year, really. It's been pretty busy. Joining me now is Ed Wilson. Ed, give me a bit of a chat about Michelin's presence at the show this weekend. Well, we come to the Dirt Bike Show each year. For us, it's a, a real opportunity to market the Michelin brand uh, in off-road. Um, it's becoming now a more and more uh, interesting sport to people. Uh, I think with the economy in the uh, UK improving, more and more people want to uh, compete or, or take up off-road and Michelin uh, is, a, is a world champion winner in, uh, in off-road so it's a very important show for, for Michelin. Rhoda, tell me a bit more about what you've got going on this weekend and a bit more about Sherco. Our main market's always been trials obviously because we've been involved with that for a long time but the Enduro is certainly the growing range. Um, that's something that we're intended to take to a higher level in the next couple of years which is the main reason why we're here really to be honest. So we're here with Simon from Osset. Simon, could you tell me a bit more about what you've got on the stand this weekend? Well, we're launching a, a few new models at the show this year, um, right from the smallest bike, the 12.5R, up to a, a new motocross bike, which will be available from next summer, which is a bit of a coup for us at the show. Um, reaction to it's been pretty good so far, uh, as it has been to the whole range. Um, had a lot of upgrades on all of them this year. Um, and people can come and see them being demonstrated in the arena just opposite here or they can actually go and have a go on the new bikes down in the outside hall for free so it's going quite well for us so far and then as I say the new bikes have had a, we've had a great reaction it's a great show for us I mean we, we've uh, um, supported it from day one and you know this is our get down and dirty time. We, we obviously go to the big events like the London Show and the NEC, but this is hardcore. This is absolute dirt bike riders, and we use this event to launch teams. And so we, we launched a Team Green here a couple of years ago. We just launched, um, the, well, just announced you know, Lee up with the LPE team. So this is where we do everything specific to dirt. Simon at the KTM UK stand. Simon, tell me a bit more about the exciting things you've got going on at the moment. Um, well, we're, we're here at the Dirt Bike Show at Stoneley and uh, we've got our full range of off-road bikes, that's motocross and enduro. Uh, and, now, and we're launching an electric bike as well. 
Um, so we're basically here to, uh, to show this range to all of our customers. So I've made my way over to TM UK and Mike is going to give me a quick talk through on the 2015 range and how the show's been going for them so far. Uh, yes, we've got the new 2015 range here. We've got a full lineup of motocross, supermoto, and enduro machines, all in two stroke and four stroke variants. Um, a lot of upgrades and changes this year. You're more than welcome to come across to the stand and discuss it with me. Show so far has been very good, especially for Thursday, it's been very, very busy. Very impressed with the actual setup of the show this year. Happy all round so far. just wandered over to the Beta UK stand and joining me is John Lankin. John, tell me a bit about what you've got going on here at the Dirt Bike Show this year. Yeah, it's been brilliant. I mean, this year um, we've sponsored Danny McCanny, who's been um, second in the British Championship and he's won the World Junior Championship. So that's been a, a great kickstart for everything that we're doing. Um, we're looking to support some riders for next year as well and to try to continue our British Championship involvement. And um, you know things are going great, really. You know, even like we've only been here for the first day, but it's um, the interest has been fantastic. It's been great. <laughs> oh, you're back again, are you? Yeah, we're here at the dirt bike uh, show. <laughs> <Looking> good. <laughs> Get lost.